Long ago, in the leadership of our forefathers, there was a conflict between the people of Acholi and the people from West Nile, which resulted into bloodshed. Efforts were made to reconcile as the Acholi and the people from West Nile. The days of 24th to 29th of January 2024 is set to mark the joy of brotherhood and neighborhood and reconciliation by the Ministry of Reconciliation. Thank you. Um, Venerable Daniel Agoy, the Archdeacon for Kerry Archdeaconry, and uh, I serve as the patron for the reconciliation uh, ministry that we have undertaken. We currently are organizing a convention for reconciliation prayer. And uh, this reconciliation came about as a result of living for generations with the conflicts among communities, among families, and we felt um, we should stand up and stand in the gap to bridge uh, that conflict uh, gap. And so this is a mandate from the Bible when we read from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, from verse 17 to 20, it says, when we are in Christ, we are now new people, the past is gone. So we can't carry the past forward when we already know God. And we feel we should stand up and go uh, to meet those that we conflicted, because this is a ministry that uh, has been given to us. It's our mandate for carrying out reconciliation um, prayer. And so we reached out to many communities, and we met. We shared uh, what happened in the past, and we forgave each other to see that the past is, is left behind, and we um, pick up a new life that our children will too take it up and continue to live a harmonious life in our communities in Uganda. And so when we started that project, God helped us to touch hearts that have been wounded and lived for many years in, in that pain. We are able to bring healing to many lives uh, when we carried out this ministry and it has covered now a wider area, uh, northern Uganda, uh, Agulu region, Lango region, and uh, many other families that uh, we had conflicts. We, we received healing now and we have become our friends. And so we continue to remind ourselves about that every year to come together and pray and uh, make sure that the past is totally left and we take up a new life. So this time we live harmoniously with those that we have reconciled. And so this year we are organizing another convention because we started that ministry in uh, 2018 and finally it was crowned at a provincial level during the celebration of Janan Loom. Uh, a day where it was publicly crowned as a provincial at a provincial level and so now what we do is we continue to strengthen uh, this harmonious uh, life uh, among us so that our children and even grandchildren will continue now to live in that peace so this year we are organizing uh, that convention which will draw people from uh, Acholi region, Lango region, and uh, others may come from our neighboring South Sudan, who are, some of them are already with us in the refugee camps. They will join us and many other families. So this convention is going to be a big one, uh, and uh, we are going to share much and pray together to see how best we can strengthen that harmony and that peace to 
continue uh, from generation to generation. So we are going to have a number of bishops that will join us from northern Uganda, even from the, the South Sudan, and uh, other sister faiths. They will be together with us in Koboko from uh, 24th to 29th January. That will be departure. So people will be arriving uh, on 24th, that is Wednesday, and they will uh, uh, leave on 29th. So they will be with us, and we are going to have that time together, which I believe is going to be a, a great blessing. And so this reconciliation will never end at that level. We want it to, to, to go down to the grassroots, up to family levels, because peace should begin from the family and then finally continue to cleanse and goes to the, the higher level. So we need to make sure that the peace that we are um, we're trying to, to, to strengthen among us is not at that level alone, but it, it goes down to the grassroots. And we want to see that our people live in a peaceful environment. Thus, we would be here and uh, we would have, uh, of course, the bishops of Gulu and even in Lango. Uh, the Olua has been the key uh, patron that has been um, pushing this uh, re uh, reconciliation ministry across the region. And so we are going to have also some bishops from South Sudan. We shall have the bishop of the internal province of South Sudan. Uh, that is uh, Yugusu, he is going to be one of the facilitators as well. And uh, we shall have other facilitators from Lango region. And the Bishop of DRC Congo would, uh, was invited also. Uh, we believe he would also be here. And uh, other West Nile bishops of Nebi and of course the host bishop. These bishops will be here. Of course, at our level, we shall have also our MPs who will join us, uh, the LC5, the mayor, the RODC. These dignitaries uh, would be with us to see that uh, that function flow successfully. However, previously, the trade between the people of West Nile and the people of Acholi were cut off because of the long-standing history of the conflict, which had planted some fear into the brotherhood as reconciliation had not yet come into effect. This ministry of reconciliation has opened for us many blessings um, that we see. One of it is that uh, we move freely among ourselves as communities. You go now to Lango region, to Achul region, you go home and you receive a very warm welcome. They also, when they come here, they also come home. So we no longer think of ourselves as enemies now, but we are really a family. And that is one of the great uh, benefits that we see from this reconciliation uh, ministry. And secondly, um, to seal this reconciliation, we are doing many things together. They are uh, Lango Diocese is educating uh, five of our children from primary and they commit themselves to to educate up to university as a sign of our reconciliation. This is happening. And we are also sending, we have sent our students to learn in their universities, uh, more especially in the area of uh, human resource in the church. We have uh, around 11 um, uh, candidates that have gone for theology in All Saints University and uh, all this came as a result of this reconciliation. So it's m opening more gates for us and uh, we have a lot in partnership uh, with those families uh, in terms of mission. They can come to our place and preach in, in our side. We can visit them and we have many things that we, we carry out in common. The young generation from West Nile and the Choli are aware that we are the 
shield to protect each other, sight for solution to reconcile through the elders as the old glory and trumpet between the neighborhood was being longed for. By name, I'm called Mambo Asraf. I'm the district chair of Kawako District Local Government. It's my pleasure to invite all the dignitaries from various parts of this country, across the country, most especially from South Sudan, DRC, and more notably, our visas from the Lango, Acholi, and the Gulu regions, who have conveyed, who have planned, and who have accepted the invitation by our Archidictionary of Koboko and also Western at large. At the event that's going to be hosted on the 24th is one of the remarkable events in history. I am a born of the generations and when you hear the history being said by our elders that we used to have conflicts among ourselves and that has deterred our relationship, that has caused also development had become a problem in very many aspects. But when they thought wise that we can't proceed with this situation for life, because all of us are created from the image of Almighty God. And God has given provisions in all the books that you need to reconcile. And uh, more especially in our faith, Muslim faith, that if you have a conflict with your brother from the morning, let the sun not set with it. And I think it is the reason as to why the Interreligious Council, all together with the Anglican Church, they thought wise that we need to reconcile, if at all, we step on our toes. And I think it is a background that today, uh, if we are going to have these submissions, we are going to have these discussions, is based on that foundation that we need to reconcile and move together as human beings together. I'm really much happy because we used to have challenges in life. For example, if you used to go to, go to if for example, you go to studies in Gulu, in those years, those sentiments were still fresh and the wounds were still there. And you find somewhere coming from either Lang or actually to West Nile, still the wounds have been there. But we say, thank God that we have people who still have the wisdom, have the love for God and humanity. In 2018, as stated by Archdeacon, they were able to come with that plan that we need to reconcile ourselves. And I think it, is a, it has yielded fruits. Currently, if you go to those regions, we look ourselves as brothers. For example, if I go as a district chair of Koboko, I go to Gulu, I'm accorded the maximum respect and protection. And I think it is a fruit of what they have started. I go to Lira, I feel at home. I go to Lango, I feel at home. I really want to thank them that they have set a peace. And the same if any colleague of ours have issues from Gulu or from those regions within our West Nile region, we also accord the maximum respect and we support. I want to give you a life example that we now speak freely. Today I received a call from, from Noya, and a, a friend, one of my colleagues, the district chair, said he has issues here in Koboko that he felt needs to be helped. Can I be of help? I have accorded him the maximum respect and even the honor to serve because we are now family, we are now brothers. Um, the conference is going to also tell the generation, and I pray that the youth must be present so because they are the future, so that we forget the history that has been said the things that have happened in the regimes that has gone, we forget about them. But we look at the future, how we can move together with the public, how we can integrate freely and share many things. You had the, the, the conference, the, 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 the attest that Archdeacon has said, our children have been taken to be paid freely and get a free education under the scholarship of the people of Lango and the Choli sub-region. I really want to give credit and I want to thank each everyone who are going to come, I pray that God accord them the maximum journey that they reach to Koboko. And we, are, we pledge our support as leaders to provide the maximum security and also be present in the, in the process until the day ends so that we learn a lot of things and we continue uh, raising the flag higher. Joy and illusion has fulfilled many hearts of the people a way to celebrate this joyful moment. The government leaders for the sub-regions air out joy with their joy yet with more pride sunday esther lighter tv get the facts light your world